You ready? Yes. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the last night of Hanukkah. Now, for the first time, we've got my wife Ailey participating in an AJA video. We're going to light the menorah. You'll see that we have the uh, proper uh, olive oil burners. Um, we've got the beeswax candle. We've got some accessories here. The dreidels, I don't know if you can see um, these, which are the traditional tops that are used on Hanukkah. We've got the Hanukkah gelt, the uh, chocolate variety. So we're going to um, say the brachot after we light the shemesh, the main candle, the central candle. And um, I'll probably edit out some of the lighting because it takes a couple of minutes. Ready? Yes. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher kidishanu b'mitzvotav Betsivanu lehadlik ne'er shel Hanukkah Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam She'asah nisim lavoteinu V'yamim ha'hem b'zman hazeh now we'll spare you the singing of the traditional songs. Unless you want to do it. <laughs> so as you can see, we've now got uh, all the candles alight. Uh, this is the, the peak, the maximum uh, point of Hanukkah. And um, we have a little message for you. Uh, it's said that uh, Hanukkah, amongst other things, symbolises light over darkness. But that doesn't just refer to illumination. It refers also to light being symbolic of truth. Uh, that what Hanukkah is about is um, a truth. Uh, if you shed light on something, you're exposing the truth. Now, Hanukkah is a story, of course, of a political battle. Now, what's the battle for? It's for the soul of Jerusalem. Uh, in ancient times, the Maccabees, of course, were victorious over the uh, Assyrian Hellenists, uh, and that was the founding of the festival. Uh, just one year ago, we had another battle that was victorious when President Trump succeeded in making good his commitment to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, which it is, and to begin the process of moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Now, at this time again, one year later, there is another battle for the soul of Jerusalem, except this time Australia is the player. Mm. Over the last couple of weeks, um, there has been a consultative process in which AJA has been engaged in making representations to various politicians and government officials to support the possible decision to officially recognise Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and begin the process of Australia relocating the embassy to Jerusalem. So will the Australian government stand up for truth and light on this occasion? Well, that remains to be seen. We certainly hope so. And we have a specific message for uh, Prime Minister Scott Morrison. This is your opportunity to shine. This is your opportunity to shine the light, to stand up for truth, uh, not to be uh, influenced by the forces of evil which have marshaled against you. And let us all bless the Australian government and the wisdom of its leaders that it should come to that decision. Happy Hanukkah to all our members, our supporters, and to the nation of Australia uh, and its leaders in reaching the right decision. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah.